I want you to think very strongly about having a gift for the king. All right. We are celebrating Christmas. Whether Jesus was truly born on that day or not, I don't know. And that's not why I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating it because he was born. Amen. And so we picked today. Amen. I don't really know if I was born on the day I was born. Amen. They just told me I was. So I don't really know. I could have been born two days before that. I don't know. I could be a little older today. But I don't know. So we celebrate this. And then and, and, and when we're celebrating it. We're we're. We're trying to de decide what can we give to Christ or I need you to decide what can you give to Jesus, seeing that we're celebrating his birthday. So let's talk about first what God has given to us. OK, John three sixteen. We heard so much about for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Why? So that we can live with him forever. In Psalms 8, 4, it says, what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visited him? Amen. So God is always thinking about us. He's got us on his mind. And some of us, or if not all of us, are being visited by him. Some more than others. Some are getting visit visitations by God through dreams. And visions. Some of you are being uh, visited by God through word. Even when you're reading the word, then you get a word. That's a visitation. Amen. Some of you are getting uh, uh, visited by God when you get more knowledge. When you begin to understand a little bit more, you're being visited. Amen. By God. What is man? God is always mindful of us for thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and i don't know if you know that that's really powerful god has made us a little lower than the angels and he didn't just make us lower than the old angel he has crowned us with glory and honor that's god being mindful of us and caring for us. Six, it said, God has given us dominion, y'all, over the works of his hands. Oh, I don't know if you know about God's hands and how much work he's been doing. There's a lot of work out there that God has, has given us, us dominion over. Do you know we are, we have dominion over the stars? The moon, that's why we're trying to get to the moon and we're trying to get to uh, Jupiter and we're trying to get, because God has given us dominion over all that all the sheep and the oxen yea the beast of the fields the fowls of the air and the fish in the sea and whatsoever passes through the path of the sea you can find that in genesis 1 26 after god has given us all that what can you give to jesus psalms 9 1 and 2 i will praise thee that that i'm gonna give the lord some praises that, that's very easy to do. Hallelujah. Just, I'm going to give the Lord some praises, oh Lord, with my whole heart. Not just with some of it. Not with uh, uh, some doubt, but with my whole heart. I'm going to praise the Lord. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Two, it says, I will be glad. Are you glad? If you're not glad, you need to be glad. Because that's how you give to God back what he has given to you. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praises to thy name. Oh, man. Oh, man. On a Sunday morning, I'm going to sing. I may not be able to sing as good as some of these people. But that don't hold me back. I'm going to sing praises unto the Lord. Pum, 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 pum. You know, I can't help myself. You know, that's what I'm going to give to Jesus. Matthew 25 and 14. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling unto a far country who called on 
his own servant. Has the Lord called anybody here? See, he's just, he's went on a traveling journey and he's called us. Amen. We are his servants, and he delivered unto them his goods. God's got some goods and he's given you some goods. Amen. Whatever makes God, uh, 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 what, what would you say? That's valuable to God. Amen. What's valuable to us is, is it's money. So God, instead of giving us money so much, he's given us gifts that are valuable to him. His goods. Amen. And unto one, he gave five talents to another. He gave two and to another. He gave one to every man according to his ability. Listen, some of you might only have one. It's according to your ability. Now, you can't think about the talents of just a gift. But see, here's some gifts, too. There's a measure of gift. Some of us have a measure of faith. Amen. That some of us have a measure even of prophecy. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't prophesy as much as you. Some of us have a measure of dreams. I don't have as many dreams as you, but I got some dreams. Amen. Anybody here don't have any dreams? Yeah, that man almost heard crickets. See, we got <laughs> dreams. Everybody's getting dreams, getting some type of visitation from the Lord. So he but there's a measure there. And unto one he gave five and unto another he gave two and to another he gave one and he gave it to them according to their abilities. And straightway he took his journey. So we have to realize that sometimes it's not the amount, y'all. Sometimes it's a measure. Ephesians 4, 7 and 12, it says, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. To every one of us has been given a measure of grace. Amen. And 8, it says, wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captive, captive and gave gifts unto men. He gave us our gifts. Now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Ten it said, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all the heavens. It's interesting how he went above all the heavens. Have you ever read the third heaven? In the third heavens, God talks about his throne. Amen. Where that is, is way up there. All right, that's the best I can give you. It's, it's way up there. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. It's not just for the church, but it's for the edifying of the body of Christ. Who are the body of Christ? We are the body of Christ. You have to get these things, these gifts that God has given you for they're edifying about God didn't give you knowledge just for you to hold on to. it. God didn't help you with mercy just for you to have. You got to have some mercy on some people. Amen. They do you wrong. You got to eventually feel a little something. And some of us have it in abundance and others have very little mercy. Amen. Amen. Some of you remember when you were in high school and you got in a fight and the, and the person looked like have mercy and you just kept on rolling on them. <laughs> that, that you had little mercy, little mercy. Amen. But you had some because eventually you stopped or your friend stopped you. But it was for the perfecting of the church. Romans 12, 6 and 8. It said having then gifts differing according to grace. That is given to us. Rather prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. Sometimes when you prophesy, when God gives you a word, you, you have to give that word according to the faith that you have in God. A ministry, let us wait on our ministry. That's the same weight as a waiter waits on you. So on serving, then let us serve well. All right. The other one is teaching. If you have a gift of teaching, then teach or he that exalteth on exaltation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. 
Some people have uh, mercy, but they had a lot mercy, a lot more than you, but they, they, they ain't too happy about it. You know, you ever feel like I got to have mercy? Yeah. Amen. I know some people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing them right now in my mind's eye. They got to have mercy. They be like, I really don't want to have mercy on this person. I want to bring them down. I want them to feel the pain. But because I serve the Lord, I must have mercy. Well, he said, if, if mercy, then do it with cheerfulness. What do, do you have? What did God give you? After he's given us so much, what do you have that's fit for the king? The only gift that I can think about that's fit for our king is a gift that is from the king. What natural or spiritual gift did God give you? Some of us have some natural gifts that God gave you. I, I have this gift of, of a building, of electrical, of plumbing, of, of, of coming up with ways of, of doing things even when it's, it's, I don't have all the right tools or something. I mean, it's just a gift. And I use it for the perfecting of the saints. Uh, as anybody, I don't, well, I better not say that. I got to say, I've come to some houses, amen, of the saints and, and helped them with some of their uh, remodels and so forth, amen. I don't do that a lot, okay? <laughs> Don't call me. Okay. I don't want to say no, but I will. All right. I'm trying to retire from all those things. So some of us have some natural gifts, you know, uh, uh, and so we have to use them. Uh, we have to give back to, to Jesus or give to Jesus what he has already given to us or what his father has given to us. We do it for what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the growth of your ministry. You have to give to God what God has given to you. That's a gift that truly keeps on giving. That's why I love our song we were singing. The drummer boy. You know. Oh, my Savior, pa -rum -pa -pum -pum. I'm just a mortal man. Pa -rum -pa -pum -pum. What can I give to you? Pa -rum -pa -pum -pum. A gift that's fit for you. Pa -rum -pa -rum -pa -pum. Pum -pum. I wish I had somebody to play for me. <laughs> Shall you play for me? Pum, rum, pum, pum. If God has given you the ability to usher, then play your usher drum, y'all. If a measure of grace has been given to you, then play the grace drum. If you or if your gift is ministering the gospel then play your ministering drum if your gift is singing then sing that singing drum amen if your gift is praising god some of us just praise god so much we can't help ourselves we're always praising the lord then praise him If your gift is given, then play that given drum. And when you play it, play it with all of your heart. Play it with all of your mind. Play it with all of your spirit. <laughs> play it with all of your strength. Bum, 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 bum. Me and my praising drum. Me, me and my media drum. Me and me and my my editing drum. Me and my 
workout drum My hairstyle is drum Drum for bum bum If your gift is dancing Then dance that drum If your gift is worshiping, then worship God. Worship God. Play that worshiping drum. If, 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 if you've been given the gift of wisdom or the gift of, let's just say, if you've been given the gift of freedom, then play that freedom drum. I'm free. Free to worship. I'm free to praise. I'm free to dance. I'm free to sing oh, 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 oh. Just me and my drum It's fit for the king If God has given you uh, 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 the ability to be a peacemaker Then play your peacemaking drum It's fit for the king If God has given you the gift of faith Then play the, the faithful drum If you have the gift of praying for others, get on your knees and play that praying drum. Oh Lord, help the church, help the people. Lord, we need a word. We need your blessing. Playing my drum. Lord, I'm playing my drum. Now these are gifts fit for a king. There are so many more. There's a redemption gift. There's a wisdom gift. There's a knowledge gift, a mercy and peace gift. A healing gift for, that some of us have. Some of us have the working of many miracles gift. Prophecy. Some the discerning of spirits gifts. To others, divers of kinds of tongues. And to some, even interpretation of tongues. Just me and my drum, Lord. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Bible says if you don't have knowledge and ask of him, ask the Lord for wisdom and knowledge. Because I want to play it. I want to give God something. Can you seek God, the Father, and the Son? Now, I, I, I know they, they don't do this, but this would be something. It's on the day that Christ was born. Run down there. Got all these gifts from all the world. People have given back to him praise and worship. I tell you, Jesus, open my gift first. Open my gift first, Lord. Ah, preaching drama. I'm rubber bum bum. I'm preaching. Oh, I'm teaching. Open my gift first, Jesus. And then he opens it. Tears all that package up. And there's the word. I hope he enjoys my gift. I hope that he listens to it. I hope that he puts a little note on it. Can't wait for him to call me and, and tell me, thank you for the gift. You have so many things you can give to Jesus. And we have plenty of time. If you're not afraid to give a testimony, or if you're afraid sometimes or weary or, or don't fully feel competent, this is the best time to tell somebody about Jesus because people are acceptable. They, they're ready to hear something. You know, you can say, Merry Christmas. May the Lord keep you in all your ways. Bless you. Did you know that Jesus loved you? See, you, you know something that they don't know. 
you know some things that they don't know and you have to say do you know what I know and then you have to tell do you see what I see I see the Christ a star just blazing you have so much to give to Jesus give it to him play it with all your heart play it with all your mind play it with all your strength and tell him when you go shopping do you know what I know that's all you have to do can you imagine walking up to somebody and say do you know what I know and they'll say what 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 you know Jesus loves you I know that and if you can't sing that's all right just, just holler it out anyway Ow! get exactly do you do you know do you know do you know does somebody know do you know I know some things oh 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 that's how war cry oh whenever I feel good I just go oh 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 Please go to our YouTube channel, Grace Cove One, find the full list of videos, and search for the video titled Full Service and Sermon. We also welcome you to join us at Grace Covenant at 285 Clay Avenue. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, God is over all.